the Jun deck, or Jun, the Grixis, Abzan, these style of decks. Uh, Burn is good against them. Don't say that about Grixis. No bad matchups. Yeah, okay. <laughs> No, but uh, Jun, there are some awkward elements going on here. Casting a Thought Seize is not always going to do very much Th for I don't you. Want a Thought Seize Lava Spike. Casting a Dark Confidant will also just be actively bad. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of issues. You might ask Kalidus, the new trend in Jund. That's a card with lifelink. That could be good here. How many does Emma have? Just one, but there is a second copy on the sideboard. Uh, there's also a Huntmaster of the Fells that gains two life, so that's something. Scavenging Ooze, another avenue to gain life. So that's a very good card in this matchup. Jasper on the play, and here come the red spells. Turn one. Oh, snow-covered mountain. All right, good style, Mr. Johnson Epstein. And it's going to be the turn one goblin guide, flipping Tarmogoyf for So two damage in Emma down to 18. Snow-covered mountain likely signaling scrying sheets in Mouth of Ronam. Is that, is that what we're Scred. working with? Scred. Scred. Okay, Scred Red. Actually, just none of the above. Yeah, uh, <laughs> actually, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to name... Is it like Carplus and Wolverine, one of the cards with snow matters? There's like some dragon. I think there's some dragon that cares about snow mana. Rhyme wind dragon, or is that, that's, that's rhyme, the, rhyme scale dragon. Rhyme scale dragon. And rhyme feather owl. Stalking yeah. yeti. Okay, he's playing none of these. <laughs> Emma, her turn, she does actually have a good play for the matchup. A turn one Grim Lava Mancer. This is a one of in her main deck. Not standard in Jund actually, but I think this is a really strong play. On the play, this would be great. The fact that we're fetching, taking two off of our shock land. Oh, we did three to ourselves for this? And we're already facing a goblin guide. Ooh, I don't like giving my burn opponent lava spikes. We're crossing our fingers, but this could be good. We're just hoping Jasper doesn't searing blaze it and swing. That would just be then put us to 10. Yeah. yeah. And if we want to cast Lava Mancer on turn one, there's actually no basic mountain in Jund. They need forests, they need swamps, they care about bleeding blood moon. So the basic mountain yeah, is just plenty like, of mountains. Exactly. That's just not a thing. Uh, Talked about what might not want to happen. Land Searing Blaze. Three to Lava Mancer, three to Emma. Goblin Guide swings. Actual worst case scenario. Oh, Thought Seize is going to be her next draw. That Compounded is. Compounded one level further. Mm. Do you even cast it? Emma's at 10. Maybe you see if there's something clever that Jasper is up to. It, it's extremely unlikely that she wins this game. See if maybe there's like some shard volley or something weird in Jasper's yeah. deck that can cue you into some specifics while you sideboard. Spoiler alert, there is one shard volley in Jasper's deck. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> Emma's at 10 on turn two. Here's Tarmogoyf. Okay, creature, land, sorcery. It's a 3-4. That's, that's a good number of getting out of range. Right. But Jasper might have 10 points of burn. I mean, he hasn't had to use any burn yet. Correct, and a second creature plus a burn spell. That's yeah. even just fine. Tarmogoyf is one of the better cards against burn. Yes. Maybe it's an episode. You want a better supporting cast, but it is definitely very powerful. This is, this is such a bad sign for Emma. Jasper's play for the turn was Monastery Swift Spear attack. Okay, Emma's top card is Huntmaster of the Fells. Four mana, that's the game. We're going to worry about that if and when it happens. Yeah, we're not there yet. A block by Emma on the Goblin Guide. Lightning Bolt at Emma. And then she just motions her hand. All right, just bring it. Come at me, bro. What you got? Oh, yeah. yeah, I get it. This is bad. Am I dead? Just tell me if I'm dead. Emma's at five. Goblin Guide is in the graveyard. Jasper, four cards in hand. Emma at five. That is bad for the Joan player. Looks like she has a Lightning Bolt for the Swift Spear. Crossing our fingers on this one, uh, Jasper's odds are very high. I like if she wanted the Swift Spear dead, she could have bolted on her turn. But here's the issue: if you're if you're playing around two prowess triggers, name two spells that uh, prowess the Swift Spear that don't just kill Emma outright. Right. And Jasper looks like he's getting a little flooded. So on the Lightning following turn, Emma. okay, okay. If Emma has a basic land and the Huntmaster of the Fells. Suddenly she's on seven. If it's a, if it's a shock <laughs> land, it's I think we just play a tap. Uh, yeah, it's. Okay. Fetch lands plus Burn one. Burn catacombs. She's at four. I believe Jasper's only not crit spell is skull crack. So Huntmaster of the Fells will be cast. It's going to try to make a wolf token. Will Jasper skull crack? Because the wolf will gain two life. He will. Emma goes to one. So How now, fast can she kill him? Now we need Jasper to draw a land or a creature on this turn. So denying those two points of life gain means that Goblin Guides and Monastery Swift Spears are now concerns for, for Emma. Well, not given the fact that she has two 2-2s in play. Yeah, but she might have to leave back a blocker. She can't 
push the pedal all the way to the, all the way down. Jasper's draw is idle of the Great Revel. Okay. So it's on not a burn spell. Unless Emma has another four mana spell, she's likely going. Well, she has to just pass the turn here. That'll cause the Huntmaster to flip and deal two damage to the Eidolon. So that's not going to be a lasting effect on this game. A overgrown two minute play tap for Emma. Because of that 2 2, Emma cannot swing any of her creatures. She doesn't want them to trade with Eidolon. She'll put Jasper down to 12. Okay. 12. We're going to just confirm some life totals here. If ja She's had Jasper has missed a couple pivotal land drops. She needs him to miss one or two more. Yeah, she needs a bad draw step for Jasper here. So 11. Two she, to the Eidolon, two to Jasper. It's just this one draw. I believe she, she has yeah, nine she power. She has lethal on the, on the following turn. She has Raging Ravine in play. She has more than lethal. Needs to be a creature or a land. No spells here. So Jasper, upkeep will crack a fetch land. Just get a land out of your deck. Get a land out of the deck. Yeah, I'll get do it two, again. Get, get two, two of them. Even Searing Blaze without a land drop is lethal here. Just like everything, every spell is lethal. Just all of them. Gets a land on tap because it produces white. Sure. Sacred Foundry will make Boros turn Big live. top deck here coming for Jasper. Yeah. <laughs> and Emma knows it. She needs to dodge one more top deck. To win this matchup, she needs some luck on her side. How much has Emma practiced cutting the deck? <laughs> There's just no skill here. Is, is it on top? Your fate. It's down to the top deck. Is it Lightning Bolt? Game one, Jasper Johnson Epstein. Oh. There was so much build up, and then he just gets it. That oh, that never feels good. And he knows it. Emma was on some borrowed time there. Jasper had missed a lot of top decks. The last one, one draw step away from taking game one from Emma. But it is Jasper on top. Let's look at the side ports. All right, so Emma does have some good cards here. Yeah. We have Kitchen Finks, three copies of those. Those will gain some life as they enter the battlefield and potentially come back to gain life again later. It's just a slam dunk that those are going to be in the deck now. Correct. One copy each of Kalidus Trader of Get and Obstinate Bayloth. The one with a life licking body that's outside of Lightning Bolt range. The other one, a body that gains life when it enters the battlefield and is also conveniently out of Lightning Bolt range. Anything that says gain life on it just seems awesome. Right. And the last card that we're looking at here is Courser of Crufix. That says uh, gain life. All right. One copy on that. And just a 2-4 can get in front of all of Jasper's creatures. Now, I want to ask you about cards like Kozilek's Return or Anger of the Gods. Now, all of Jasper's creatures do have two toughness, so they are p clean sweepers. But does that matter? In my experience, they're just too slow. I've sideboarded a lot of Electrolyze out against burn decks. It, you just need to deal yeah. with Goblin Guide and turn one and two. Well, on the play, does it matter? Like on the play, could they be fast enough? On the draw, I think I'm I'm with you. Right. It's a question of what we're actually boarding out. Uh, so she's for sure getting rid of Dark Confidants. Good chance we're getting rid of Thoughtseize. Inquisitions are going to stay in. And if we want to cut more things, uh, we could possibly get rid of, say, Liliana of the Veil vale for a Sweeper, something like that. Or the, the Maelstrom Pulse is, is worse than these cards. But uh, That much makes sense. All right, let's go to Jasper's side. Uh, this is such a good matchup main deck that I wouldn't be surprised if he has very little in this for this one. He has four, one Grim Lava Mancer, a full playset of core Firewalkers, an Electricery, a Path to Exile, two Ancient Grudges, one Deflecting Palm, three Destructive Revelries, one Searing Blades, and one Stony Silence. Grim Lava Mancer kind of lets you manage Tarmogoyf. You, you force Emma to have all of the card types in her graveyard. So I like Lava Mancer here. Searing Blaze isn't really going to interact super well on this, and those are the only two cards that I'm looking at. There's well, not a lot of action for Jasper. How do you feel about Path to Exile? We saw Tarmogoyf be a really good card against his deck that game. I personally want to sideboard in Path to Exile as little as possible. This is mostly for the Infect decks, the decks that are going to kill you very quickly unless you have the path. If we're yeah. bringing it in against Tarmogoyf, I much prefer the plan of using the Lava Mancer, manage the graveyard, be able to kill Tarmogoyf with a Lightning Bolt. He only has one in the 75, so I'm guessing that Jasper kind of agrees with your sentiments on this card. He's not very... Only having one of it in the deck shows that you're not very thrilled. Yeah, the deck called Burn. It's a spell it's that... not called Removal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not red, red, White Control. It's Burn. Well, these players will shuffle up for game two. We're going to take a, tech, take a second to tell you about the Star City Games newsletter. So if you haven't had this, this is free. So you just sign up on the Star City Games website. It's right in the t upper right-hand corner. Just click on Newsletter, type in your... 
Your email address takes about 30 seconds, and you can get your Sorcerer Match to Gathering News every week. So what is in this? We get your latest on the SCG Tour. You have links to the Match of the Week if you have missed the coverage from that weekend. You get exclusive. Every month we have a different writer for exclusive deck lists and articles about the current formats of the week, so you get exclusive content to catch up on all that and get a cardboard crack comic. And really, it's all free, so there's no reason not to sign up today. StarCityGames.com slash newsletter. Tab over in your browser right now. 30 seconds out of your life. Yeah. Free information. You can read it. You can not read it. It'll just show up in your inbox. If you're watching this broadcast, I assume that you want to win magic tournaments. This that you is like magic. This yeah. is a free resource to help you do that. Jasper Keeping 7, Emma. Going to six. Now, I was going to say taking a trip to Paris because, you know, the Paris Mulligan. But now is it Vancouver? Is that the new terminology if you want to be all artsy about yeah, it? We're going up north. We're going north. Is that what we say? Can our, I... our hand size is going south. So now I can't say we're going to Paris. You say, is that, do I have to say we're going to Vancouver? You can't say we're going to Paris. I don't think that there's a concrete, concrete thing you have to say. If I say, because if I'm going to Paris, sounds not, going to Vancouver just sounds weird. Like, they'd be like, why are you going to Vancouver? Oh, Vancouver is lovely. I love Vancouver. It's a great city. It's a mouthful, but it's just a, a yeah. It's it's not as cliche. It's it's like nicer trip, than Paris. <laughs> we're not actually. I'm talking about the cliche nature of the of the yeah, phrase. Yeah, you know, see. whatever. You have you have your way of thinking about it. I have mine. Okay, I could just. <laughs> we're going down to six. <laughs> Emma, raging Raviner, first play. We go over to Jasper. Turn one, suspend Rift Bolt. Those, so. Normally, you'll see a creature on turn one from burn, but I find in this matchup that the burn spells are actually the scariest part. Yeah, with Jun, you have lightning bolts, you have terminates, you have abrupt decays. You can deal with the creature. The first hit probably connects, but you have a one or a two point burn spell. Emma, her second land drop was Black Cleave Cliffs, so, so she's taking zero off her lands. That's great. We see Jasper's turn two is Eidolon of the Great Revel. Emma will cast Terminate on it, but damage is done. She goes to 15, draws for the turn. Enchantment in the graveyard. That and witch creature, yeah. dies, feeds the Tarmogoyf. No Goyfs yet, but that will be relevant, I assume. Overgrown Tomb into play, tapped for Emma Handy. And Jasper will just, well, do 20 points upstairs. Here's Lava Spike. Emma's down to 12. His hand appears to be Lightning Bolt Boros Charm at the very least. So he has, he has Emma at 5 in, in, in his head. But Kalidus, traitor to get. That's the big play here for Emma. Now, the 3-4 doesn't matter, but the lifelink sure does. Certainly. So now the pressure is on Jasper to either kill Emma in this turn cycle, which is certainly possible with three more burn spells or more Boros charms, or to have a skull crack for every lifelink trigger. So Jasper will, on Emma's end step, fetch out a land. He will cast Boros charm. Emma's down to eight. I suppose, there, in theory, Jasper could just deal eight here. And yeah, his hand is Lightning Bolt, pff, Lightning Bolt, Lava Spike, Shard Volley, three mountains in play. How about nine more points of burn? That's one way to get around Kalidus. Yeah, that's significantly better than if Jasper had a path to exile. The, the deck is called wow. Burn. Yeah, just remove the opponent from the game. A turn four kill from Jasper on the draw is going to be good enough. Two games to zero. Jasper Johnson Epstein defeats Emma Handy to move to five and one, looking for a second consecutive Milwaukee Open top eight. Yeah, there was really nothing that Emma could have done. You know, she took that trip to Vancouver slash Paris. Uh, <laughs> I think that, that that keep was totally defensible, and that, that game one was just really heartbreaking. That lightning bolt off the top wrapped things up when Emma was just one turn Very away close, from cracking yeah. back for lethal. Game two kind of seemed like it was just, you can watch game two, and my, my analysis would be, you know, this is why it's not.